Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Happy New Year! Welcome Into Tomorrow. I'm Dave Graveline. Thanks for joining us on our first ITTV web show for 2013. Did you enjoy the holidays? Got all the tech you wanted? We're curious to know what products you received as gifts. And did you keep them, sell them, return them, like them? Why or why not? Use our free Into Tomorrow apps available for a plethora of your mobile devices or call the Ask Dave hotline toll free 24-7 from anywhere in North America at 1-800-899-INTO and let us know. Of course, you can also leave us your reply in the comment section. We're headed to Las Vegas next week and want to bring you with us. And you don't even have to pack a bag. You can stay connected with us via our ITTV web channel on YouTube or visit us at intotomorrow.com. We'll be uploading several interviews and cool videos throughout the week from the 2013 International CES. You won't want to miss them, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for three weeks of CES coverage on our national radio broadcasts as well. Stocking stuffers are usually fun gifts to receive on Christmas, and several in our audience shared some cool yet different items. Rob's up next to show you some unique devices that were in his Into Tomorrow stock. Thanks, Dave. I was intrigued by the small gifts in our Into Tomorrow stocking stuffers this year. Are you tired of having to change batteries on all the clocks around your home? Check out this clock that doesn't use batteries. It is powered by water. This particular model is known as the Squirt Beetle Water Clock because it resembles a small splash of water. It's very easy to make this clock work. All you do is just add standard tap water. The manufacturer says the clock will run from five weeks to up to six months, depending on the composition of the water. In case you're wondering how it operates with water, the squirt uses ions in the water to create clean energy. Eventually, you'll have to replace the water after ionization is low. The squirt also functions as an alarm clock and is available in a variety of colors. You can snag one for 26 bucks online. Another interesting product we want to show you has a really funny name and an interesting functionality. The Un Bovine from a company called Fuse Chicken isn't just a standard 30 pin charging cable for your iPhone or iPod Touch. No, it also functions as a stand. It works very similar to a gooseneck like GPS cradles and microphones for example. So you can bend this cable any way you want and it'll hold your phone pretty steady. The cable stand combination is 24 inches long. You can use a lightning adapter to make it work with your iPhone 5 if you have one. Fuse Chicken also offers an Un Bobine for Android devices with this one having a micro USB tip. There's also shorter versions called Petite Bobine for both iPhone and Android devices. It's 12 inches long, so half the size of the Un Bobine we showed you first. Prices will vary from $28 to $30 bucks for each version. That wraps it up for this week's product spotlight. Thank you for watching. Cheers to a new year. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. That water clock looks pretty cool. While we're starting a new year, it's always nice to be reminded about some noteworthy events in our past. Our technology past, that is. It's time for our weekly trip into yesterday's most memorable tech events with our in-house tech historian, Chris Graveline. Here's Chris. This week in 1940, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, got its very first demonstration of FM radio. The new medium, free of interference, static, and noise in thunderstorms, was developed by Major E.H. Armstrong. The first FM transmitter was put into operation in 1941. In 1949 this week, the first network television broadcast took place as KDKA-TV in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania went on the air, connecting the East Coast and Midwest programming. This week in 1954, the dualoscopic TV receiver was unveiled. The TV set allowed a person or a group to watch two different shows at the same time. It was a primitive picture-in-picture split-screen that was tested in New York City and Chicago. And this week back in 1996, Into Tomorrow with Dave Graveline was born on the airwaves as they brought you the first special from CES in Las Vegas. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA, the International Funkausstellung in Berlin, the global trade show for consumer electronics that's rich in its own history. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Thanks, Chris. 
I know you all think that we never make any mistakes and that all this video magic is just as it happens. Well, sorry to disappoint. We are only human, and to prove it, this week we have a blooper segment for you. We hope you enjoy it as we start this brand new year. Hey there, ITTV view. Did I say too many T's? <laughs> Did you say rolling? Oh, okay. He said rolling. <laughs> Messed you up. I said Rob's an ass. <laughs> I don't think we need to do it again. Yahoo! Yahoo! You're not even listening anymore, so I don't know why I'm talking to you. Thanks, Caitlin. Those robots are the give a little higher. Thanks, Caitlin. Those rob damn it. Adding features and shrinking in price. Ah, sorry, I messed up. She will occurs. First up, do you have a Kindle Fire? Well, now you also have the ability to get that. I kind of screwed that up now. We're wasting all of our time. What service do you? What service do you like? Or like? Okay, that didn't work. Ow! <laughs> Take four. <laughs> this toothpaste is said to create millions of nano bubbles. <laughs> Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Yeah, we're wasting your tape. So what? I pay for them. From the top. Do I have enough headroom? What about now? Nobody wants to see some old fart just standing here yakking. <clears throat> the whole time. Can adjust the fit, but I didn't enjoy sleeping with it, and it often. Shoot me now, kill me. Stop the tape. No, you're gonna do something funny. I don't do anything funny ever. To give honest, knowledgeable advice on technology, they sell. We want to remind you that our weekly product spotlight segment is an editorial evaluation. Oh my god, I can't say that! Fine, I'll do it again! They call me Mellow Yellow. Fine, I'll do it again! Sing it with me. They call me Mellow Yellow. That's right. <laughs> this week in 1892, voters in Lockport, New York became the first in the U.S. to use voting machines. And I'm just like way over the top in my excitement. I love it. No. More enthusiasm. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. In 1960, the submarine Tulabi. I'm gonna do that again because I kind of messed it up. Can I start filing now? Yeah. And connecting it on our network here at the. Come on. That's Sharpie away from me. <laughs> you really can fall asleep. Every day I'm shuffling.
Hello there. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm looking good. Check it out. Check it out.